some stuff I need to get off my chest. They asked me how it was in the war. What up, soldiers? Texas Grown 409, aka the Iraq Veteran Gamer, bringing you another installment of War Stories. Today I'm going to talk about mortar attacks. Like I said last week, my first four months of my deployment, we usually got mortared every single day. There was a couple times where we go a couple days without anything happening, but for the most part, we got mortared every single day. Within this time, I was doing tower guard, and pretty much on the night shift, we would get mortared all the time. I'm going to explain a couple of the main attacks that stand out in my mind within this four month period. The first one was my first mortar attack while on guard duty. I was on guard and there was a tank convoy leaving our base and it was a road we called Tower Boulevard which was right outside our base. Like we have the T wall, we have our towers and then we have the wall and then it's Tower, Bo Tower Boulevard. There was a tank convoy leaving and next thing I know we hear BOOM! And I thought it was a bomb going off at the gate. And I look to my left and I see a tower that's 50 meters away and it's just surrounded by dust. And I was like, oh fuck. Like they just got hit with a mortar. And this mortar attack was a total of five mortars. The second mortar landed 150 meters away. I don't remember where the third and fourth mortar landed, but the last mortar landed about 50 meters behind us. And I was just looking at that tower, I was like, holy fuck, I just seen my comrades just get killed. But what happened was that mortar landed at the base of their tower at the very bottom of the stairs. And they pretty much got lucky. Another attack that stands out in my mind, I wasn't on guard at this time, I was actually off duty and I was sleeping. And if we're sleeping, or if we're off duty, and we're in the barracks, and we're getting under attack, we have to put on our gear and go out in the hall for accountability until it's all clear, just to make sure nobody's hurt. Well, this attack, it was two different attacks this day. It was a total of about 50 mortars and rockets. So each attack was about 20 to 30 mortars. And we're just sitting there for like two minutes straight you'd hear boom boom and at the end of the hall the doors every time you hear the mortar go off they'd fucking open and dust would kick all in and we're like damn it's fucking raining mortars is this shit gonna stop and all you could think was oh fuck dude I'm glad I'm not out there another attack was when we're on our way to chow like when we get off guard duty we got off at 6 p.m. And we'd always try to hurry up and get to the chow hall because they stopped serving dinner chow at 7. So me and this girl that was in our unit, we were walking the chow. And we were just about to pass up the basketball court on our left. And they had a bunker right by the basketball court. And we, we looked at each other and we said, I wonder why we haven't got attacked yet. And I swear within a minute of us saying that we hear thump, thump, thump. And we looked at each other and we said, oh, fuck. And sure enough, a mortar comes right overhead. Boom. Landed by the ice point, by the defect, killed a civilian. So we started taking off, running to the, uh, the bunker. She ends up falling. And I had to pick her up. And I fucking run face first into the bunker. Because I was just trying to take cover. The second mortar landed right on the other side of the basketball court. And there's people playing basketball. And we were in the bunker and we are like, why haven't they came to the bunker yet? It was after that second mortar landed that they started running to the bunker. And I don't remember where the third mortar landed. And this next attack, we nicknamed this mortar the Screaming Dragon. I don't remember how many mortars it was. Me and my tower buddy were sitting on guard. And we're just sitting there kind of bullshitting. And we just hear this fucking... Boom! And the fucking mortar landed like 20 meters from us. And there was a couple other mortars that came in. While we were still getting attacked, my tower buddy ran down the tower 
went and grabbed some of the shrapnel from where the mortar landed. He came up and he was like, oh, oh shit, shit, it's hot. Threw some at me and I was like, oh, fuck. I was thinking, you're fucking crazy. We're still getting mortared and you're going to run down there just to grab some damn shrapnel? After he came back up, I went down there and I stood in the hole and I looked to see where it was shot from. And from where it was shot from, it came about five feet from hitting our tower. So I was like five feet from death. <laughs> But we nicknamed that one the Screaming Dragon. I'd like to change it to the Screaming Demon. Because that, one, that sounds better to me. But that motherfucker just squealed the whole time it came in. It was like, ah, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> but that's just some of the main attacks I remember from those first four months. I'm sorry for this short episode. But yesterday was my birthday, May 3rd. And I'm trying to have like a chill week I guess I'm waiting for my new new computer to come in and once my new computer gets here I'll be able to render videos a lot faster and I have new internet so I'll be able to upload a lot faster I'm still gonna be uploading a few videos until then so please hang in there anyways Texas Grown 409 aka the Iraq Veteran Gamer is out peace bitches <laughs>